Hey everybody, and welcome to uh, River Legacy Nature Center. My name is Chad, I'm one of the uh, naturalists here. Uh, welcome to another Fun Fact Friday. So today we're gonna do just a little quick uh, information thing about uh, snake awareness. We get a lot of reports around here, and, and rightfully so, that a lot of people see copperheads out, especially this time of year as they're hatching and coming out into the, uh, the summertime, um, that they see copperheads. And we come in and everybody has seen a copperhead. It's copperhead after copperhead after copperhead. Well, we've determined that it's not always a copperhead. A lot of times that's not exactly what they're seeing, but that's what they're reporting because they know that there's copperheads around. So we do have copperheads. We have one here that you're gonna see the close up of, and it's a, um, a native one. They are all over the place out here, and it is a venomous snake. It's not a snake that you want to be harassing. It's not a snake you wanna mess with. It's one you want to give a wide berth to. Any snake, actually, that you come across in the wild, and we're going to talk about a couple different ones that you may see out here, any snake that you come across in the wild, you basically just need to give a little respect for. If you see one, just stop, take about three steps, two or three steps back, get away from that snake, and 99% of the time, he's just going to go on about his business. He's not interested in eating you, okay, whether he's venomous or non-venomous, okay? Um, but just give them two or three steps back and let them go on their way. If they don't, if you back up a little farther, they probably still will go on their way. And if not, it's... If it's extremely necessary, you keep going where that snake is laying across, just wait and it'll eventually move or find another way to get there because you just don't want to be stepping over it or trying to kick it off with your feet or with throwing rocks at it and anything like that or harass it like that. That's when people tend to get bit. So just give it some respect, step back and let it go and it will usually get out of your way. So uh, we have the copperheads which are venomous out here, but most of the snakes that you're going to see out here are non-venomous snakes. Uh, we do have water snakes, and in your round creeks, you may see water snakes, and people are always saying that those are cottonmouth water moccasins, okay? Most of the time, the snakes you see in the water are not water moccasins at all. Their water moccasins are extremely venomous. Uh, the other snakes you see, water snakes, diamondback water snakes, and some blotched water snakes, different kinds of water snakes are not venomous, but they live in the water, so everybody assumes if they see a snake in the water, it's a water moccasin. So it's usually not. There are ways to identify them. If you see them swimming, usually a water moccasin is a much broader bodied snake, and it uh, floats more on top of the surface when it's swimming. That's one way you can tell. Uh, however, there is one problem with the uh, water moccasin that causes confusion with people, and that's the coloration of the juvenile. The juvenile water moccasin is uh, colored very much like the copperhead. In fact, if you see it there laying next to the water, a lot of people, unless you get really close, are going to think that it is a copperhead. And it's actually just a juvenile water moccasin, but it is still venomous, so just give it that space. Okay? So the most common snake that you're going to see in this area and most parts of uh, Texas and, and North Texas like this is going to be the uh, western rat snake or the, it used to be called the Texas rat snake. You may hear both of those. But that's the most common snake you're going to find, especially uh, if you see one going up in a tree, which they're very good at climbing. Uh, they are a rat snake, so basically they do eat mice and rodents. That's what they generally eat. But they are also eating birds, and they'll get up in a uh, bird's nest, eat young birds or bird eggs as well. Uh, so they're very good climbers. Those scoots on the bottom of their belly let them climb uh, way up into trees and, and access those nests and uh, get what they're after. So if you see one up in a tree, there's different colorations, but uh, the coloration of this one is the most common color that you'll see. So most of the time when people see these, this is what they're taking, saying are copperheads, but they're, they're rat snakes. They are non-venomous. Uh, that's not to say they won't bite because they will bite and some rat snakes have a real attitude and they will strike and they're the second fastest striking uh, snake on the, uh, in the U.S. behind a rattlesnake. So uh, they're extremely fast. If they decide they're going to strike, they can strike faster than you can blink. So they can get you. So you need to give them that steps, that distance, like I said. The other thing you need to remember is if you're walking through these trails and there's a log falling against, uh, across the, the trail, stop and either look over that log before you step over it or step up on the log and look down before you step because that's where most people do get bitten is when they step over a log without looking on the other side the snake is tucked up under there and all they see is the foot coming down and they strike without even realizing what they're striking at because it's a threat to them so step over those logs and uh, not or step onto the logs and down not just stepping over them so that's another way to keep from getting bit um, if you do get bitten by a snake um, more than likely it's going to be a non-venomous venomous one, like I said, but if you're positive it's a copperhead, if you've identified it as a copperhead, you need to not panic, get yourself to the hospital as quick as you can and, and you have that taken care of. Um, don't try 
tourniquets and cutting and all that stuff. None of that's good anymore. Just get yourself to the hospital and they'll, they'll take care of it and don't panic. Keep your, try to keep your heart rate low. That's easier said than done sometimes, but uh, just try not to panic and, and stay calm. Um, so, uh, like I said, the rat snake eats rodents. The copperhead also eats rodents, but it also is out. And one of the reasons people see so many copperheads right now this time of the year is it gets warm, and as it gets warm, all the cicadas come out. You probably hear a lot of cicadas in the afternoon, in the evening. They're starting to come out now, and these copperheads love to eat cicadas. So you may see them at the base of the tree, uh, and that's what they're doing is they're waiting for cicadas to come up out of the ground, and they'll nab them, and they just feast on the uh, cicadas. So that's one reason that you see a lot of them at the beginning of the summer. Now they can climb trees too also, uh, but not as well as the, uh, the rat snake. So you could see a copperhead up in the tree, but more than likely when you see a tree, uh, a snake up in the tree, it's gonna be the, um, the rat snake. Um, so anyway, that's a quick information about some of the snakes that you may, a couple of the snakes you may see out here in River Legacy or in the parks in this part of North Texas. But the main thing is, like I said, just give them their space, respect their distance between them, don't hassle them, don't try to pick them up, don't throw sticks and rocks at them, just let them go about their business. Um, you hear some people say that the only good snake is a dead snake. That's not true. We want snakes alive. We want them controlling the, the rodent population and helping the cicada population, keeping it down. Uh, so they are very beneficial. Um, and just give them their space and let them go about doing their own uh, thing, doing their own business, going about the business of living. So um, anyway, come back and join us again for another uh, Fun Fact Friday, and uh, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again.